Here is a Java interview question. What is exception propagation in Java? Here is a code example. We have a method M3 which has a problematic code which will raise an arithmetic exception. But as we are not handling this, whenever the exception occur, whoever calls the M3 method, the exception will be propagated to there. In our case, the M3 method got called by the M2 method. So the exception will be propagated to here, but unfortunately, we're not handling the exception here as well. So the exception again will be propagated from M2 to M1. Here also we are not doing any exception handling. Now the exception will be propagated from M1 to the main method. Let's say here we are handling the exception. The main method right now handles the exception. In case we don't handle the exception, if we wanna run this, the exception actually occurred in the method M3, which is here, then propagated to M2, then propagated to M1, then propagated to the main method. 